coolest flashlight ever. Check this out. Okay. No, you shut up. I'm not talking to you. I'm making a video. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, check this out. Okay, so look. So it's got this on the front, like little fish lens. Then look at this. It's like got like octopus hands. And it's got a Phillips head, and it's got a regular head, and it's got... Um, I'm sure something that I can pick the lock to, um, to my, uh, to my little, uh, lock box because the keys didn't make it, but check it out. Hold on. Not just does it have like all these little, like awesome screw, uh, screwdrivers, but look, it has high beams too. Woo, woo, woo. So anyway, sure as shit beats the hell out of this stupid, stupid, ridiculous toolbox that um, that somebody who shall remain nameless got me after they got one tool set and they were talking, I used to have, the, I gotta tell you, for a girl and for a straight girl, I have kick-ass tools. I miss my tools. But look at this shit. This is what's in my toolbox. Now, I'll point out. One, I have measuring tape. Two, I have a hammer, but I, have, I don't have any nails. Three, I don't plan to be working on any pipes, and that's kind of tight anyway. And four, I don't even know what the fuck this thing is. I'm pretty sure it's for a car and a screwdriver, but you saw my screwdriver, so now I need some nails because I feel like nailing some shit into the walls. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, I'm having a little, a little Aspie rage going on here because... Um, this is what my freaking desk looks like because there is no desk. There is no desk. There's a table. There's a table. So, um, that's, that's sort of, uh, you know, causing some, uh, some, uh, some rage. So, anyway, it was supposed to, this was, there were several things that, um, that I had put in as conditions, uh, to the lease and, and, um, the property, um, and one of them was that this area here was supposed to be custom made because um, it had a like a, a, a like sleazy 70s bar or some shit like that. So this was supposed to be made into my little workspace. And look what they did. <laughs> Do you see those lights? Do you see these lights? Fluorescent lights? Could you work like that? So anyway, so now it's not only like like 200 degrees here. But that's pretty, um, that's not a good work environment. So anyway, um, there's two plugs there, um, which by the way, blew out the, uh, the refrigerator. And um, I purchased this as a backup and that's mine. I was told not to bring any of my stuff. So anyway, so this is what we got. So now, now we've got a fight going on because this stupid kitchen table, now I had a kitchen table. No, leave your kitchen, your kitchen table behind. Well, this kitchen table is supposed to be used to dine on. Well, it's kind of hard to dine when you don't have any fucking food. <laughs> so, and when you, the nearest supermarket is, um, is, well, built for millionaires and you have to pay $7 for a box of cereal and um, that just doesn't fit into my budget, not to mention the, um, the, uh, the $16 it would cost for me to take a cab there. So I'm a little bit irritated because I wanted to put, put, make this into a desk area, put a desk here. This is totally impractical here. And I had to um, take that out of the wall because all this shit, which is probably going to blow tonight anyway because the power is probably going to go out, this shit is all linked to the freaking, to the uh, light switch, which by the way, doesn't just turn off, like, so it's not like I can like turn off one light or two lights or three lights or four lights. It's connected to all, all, all of them. And that is, I'm sorry, but that's fluorescent. This, I had to take the bulbs out because it was freaking ridiculous. They were burning and they, um, the, and they had silver in them, so it looked like mercury. And that, my friends, is fluorescent lights. Can you see that? So anyway, so um, I love my new apartment. I'm using this as a bookshelf for the time being because this is what my office looks like. And um, my books, of course. Uh, this, is, this is my favorite. This is awesome. 
I recommend this. So most of these happen to be um, autographed. This is my, happens to be my favorite, The Complete Conspiracy Reader. So I got this probably, let's see what year it was published. Government-sponsored paranoia. So it was published in 1998. Well, um, I have certain pages marked, um, Urban Warfare. This is a conspiracy. Okay, I'm not going to focus on that, but um, I was there. So um, in any event, um, yeah, so this stuff really happened. Um, I haven't read the UFO parts. Oh, my God! Holy crap, the things you find. Okay, I just found something else in the Complete Conspiracy Reader. Um, hmm, this is really interesting. Wow, I haven't seen this chapter before because it's been, wow, notable names. Wow, Project Monarch Nazi Mind Control. Again, this is the complete conspiracy reader, so I am a, cons a conspiracy theorist, but at Barnes & Noble's, uh, for eight ninety eight, it was probably in the discount rack, but um, huh? So okay, so in here we have Mengele, Dr. Greenbaum, Dr. Green. Um, that's Code Green. Um, Dr. Green survivors known him as Daddy uh, Joseph, beautiful Joseph, David, and Fairchild. Um, yeah, wow. So we know. Let's see who wrote this. Oh, Ron Patton. Okay, well, it so happens that I've read Ron Patton's stuff before, and he's pretty good. But, um, so anyway, programmers and places. Let's just go to the places here quickly. Um, we know about Dr. Green. We know about green programming. We know about Dr. White. Um, okay, so um, we're going to skip over McGill University and St. Mary's Hospital, um, which stitched up my ear when I was a little kid. But let's just sit down here for a second because this is pretty interesting. Notable names. Candy Jones. We're not interested in her, but I'm guessing. Okay, so here we have Cornell, Duke, Princeton, UCLA, Rochester, MIT, Georgetown, Jesuits, um, St. Elizabeth's, Bell Laboratory, Stanford, Westinghouse, General Electric, Arco, Mankind. And here we go. Now we're talking. Okie doke. China Lake Naval Weapons, Fort Hood, uh, remember, anyone remember the uh, shooting there? McGill Air Force Base, Fort Campbell, um, Kentucky. Um, I'm sure you guys, anyone who follows me long enough knows about Fort, uh, Fort Campbell. I was located, and here we have Tinker Air Force Base. So let's see what else we recognize in here. We have Mount Shasta, California. Um, oh boy, don't go get any goat cheese. Let's see what else we've got. Um, well, obviously, and this is what we're looking for. Kathy O'Brien, let's see if we have Nashville in here. Boys Town in Nebraska, we know somebody else from there um, who also was in Mount Shasta. Um, Dr. Hammond, now all this stuff is on, uh, is on my blog, which has been in DDoS for quite some time um, by um, apparently uh, Washington, D.C. seems to be hitting it a lot, and it's got like three different um, sites. It's got I'm .com, but they have Dr. Uh, not .com, uh, sorry, I was reading the next page. Uh, they have .com, and they have, um, and they have a .in, they have a .fr, I am .com. So, um, they're, you know, definitely, now I haven't, haven't said anything about this, but I did notice that um, within the last few days that this actual, that this piece, now I, I'm going to have to check because now I don't, I'm, not, I'm un, unsure if it was the piece by Ron Patton, but this used to be the leading, um, the leading article on my blog. And for some reason, it seems to have gotten replaced uh, by I got you shit fucks by the balls, which is actually um, not the whole post. The whole post is actually a Skype conversation between somebody who, um, well, somebody who is um, claims to be anti NWO is out of the country, um, but is deeply, deeply, deeply involved uh, with many monarchs. Um, 
uh, victims of, of Project Monarch, which is what we're talking about, psychological warfare. But what we are looking for here is, now we do know Ann White, um, Pennsylvania, there we go, we got Pennsylvania, um, Ann White, Pandora's Box, um, let's see, we're looking for, we don't want to even talk about, um, talk about, uh, Alaska and HARP, but the Greek letter programming, so we've got Delta, Alpha, Beta, um, we have uh, Theta, we have Gamma, uh, Misdirection. So um, I was really, really good, and I hadn't talked about any of this stuff uh, for a while. I don't see anything, any references in here to um, a certain place which I suspect should be in here. So I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. But as you can see, Mengele, um, now we do know who that is, yes? Okay. Um, so in any event, um, there's one place in particular I'm looking for. Of course, we knew Pennsylvania was in here. We knew about Duke Cornell. Um, we knew about Tinker Air Force Base, Tinker Bells, blah, 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 fairy dust. We knew about Mount Shasta. Um, if anyone ever tells you to go get goat cheese in California, don't go. Um, Lamp Bay, Missouri, we knew, Las Vegas, the Tavistock Institute, Los Alamos, we knew about all this stuff. Um, Transformation of America, we have that book, we've read the whole thing. Um, know about McGill University, we know that, uh, that uh, Canada also settled a lawsuit with uh, the United States for uh, MK Ultra and uh, paid quite a bit of money to, uh, to people who think, and here we go, programming, Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, specific Pocahontas. Yeah, you guys, be careful, Grandmother Willow. Thank you, I was just gonna say, be careful of Grandmother Willow. Um, and just as all I'm gonna say is uh, Willow, um, I don't wanna use her last name, but uh, she happens to be uh, the, the uh, daughter of, uh, some famous uh, little uh, men in black. And she has a really creepy, um, creepy video. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Well, that's very symbolic of NWO. So they're talking about double speak reversals. I love you, I hate you. Um, that's very typical of people with, um, with borderline personality disorder. Um, and um, and they switch. You can call it transactional uh, transactional analysis. You can look at it which any way you want. But they're pretty much fucked up. So here we go. The branches are used to whip victims in rituals for cleansing. A willow tree can endure severe weather disturbances, and it's known for pliability or flexibility. Um, the willow's branch is wrapping them with no hope of escape. The deep root of the willow tree makes the victim survivor feel he is falling deeper and deeper into the abyss while in, in, in a hypnotic state. Um, in any event, um, I can't believe, I haven't, I, mean, I haven't looked at this book in years, but, um, Colgate University, I, they, um, I wanted to go to Colgate for, an, for a while. Um, in any event, um, so they're talking about Project Clip, Paperclip, they're, um, talking about, I don't see anything with the Jesuits, I see a lot of stuff about the Catholics. In any event, this probably won't upload. This will probably get me um, more lawn people and more um, <laughs> more lawn people, more AT and T trucks, and ooh, and they're right down the street. So um, hello, don't worry, I'm crazy, and this is and this is just a fictional book, and it's called um, it's called the Complete Conspiracy Reader. So you know that I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist. And they're the editors of, I hope it's Paranoia Magazine, because Paranoia Magazine is the best. Waco, Texas, okay. Um, FYI, uh, Fort, uh, Fort Campbell did Waco. So the Black Army. So anyway, so I can't believe, wow. John Lennon, um, he lived on West 72nd and Central Park West. Um, lived next door to, uh, to that, um, to the Dakota as a child, so heard all about him being shot. But here's TWA 800, who framed Leonard Peltier. Okay, so now we've got COINTELPRO. So maybe I'll give this book a read uh, later on. Uh, Knights of Templar, yeah. So anyways, this is 14 minutes, 39 seconds. So um, I think I'm allowed 15 minutes, so 14.44. But just, uh, if you do read this, 
This is all you need to know, okay? This is what got me interested. May 13th, 1985. I was there. I'm not going to talk about it. I forgive them. They paid their price. Rest in peace.